Uh, whether it's a breakfast cereals or cheese, no matter where you look these days, the supermarket shelves are full of products claiming to be high in protein. Well, just how healthy are they? Joining us now is nutritionist Hala El Shafi. Good morning Good and welcome. Morning. Good morning. How much should we be eating? Sorry? How much should protein should we be eating? Well, actually, we are, as a nation, eating more than enough um, protein and it's actually a fallacy because a lot of people are thinking that they're not, in, not getting anywhere near enough, but that's not true. Mm. So, um, for women, it's 45 grams, and for men, it's 55. But we're actually eating a lot more than and that. And is it, because you think we're eating more than enough, or well, that's good if you're eating more than enough vegetables, it must be a good thing. But if you eat more than that 45 grams, I read this morning that it then gets stored in your body as fat. If you eat anything in excess, that is actually what is going to happen, whether it's protein or any, any other food group. Right. Um, but the issue is marketeers have um, latched onto this and started putting that into lots of products. So if you go into the supermarket, you're seeing protein this, protein that, and that's actually not necessary and it's expensive. So yeah, well, let's, okay. uh, let's have a look at some of the comparisons then. What, what have you got here for us? So we've got um, some uh, cereal there, as you recognise, but um, what we've got here is um, a cereal that's high in protein. Right. Very high in protein. But it's also incredibly ex expensive and it's not necessary. So the issue here is that you could end up be spending a lot more for your breakfast cereal that you don't need to. So this to. one, they do a protein version and a normal version. Yes. And so the protein version is £3.20, the normal version is £2.80. And actually what this has got, although it's got more protein in it, it's also got 1.9 grams of sugar as opposed to 1.7 grams of sugar for the normal one. So exactly. You get more protein but more sugar. Exactly. And paying more for and it. And paying more for it. OK, all right. So unnecessary totally unnecessary Completely totally unnecessary. unnecessary yeah save okay. your money yeah save your money all right yeah. next up we've got um are you going to do this one or are we going to do the chocolate bar <laughs> well all i was going to say is that actually for um a lot less you can have the same amount of protein if the protein is um, an issue with just some peanut butter on toast and that'll do the trick that. yeah all right, and then what about chocolate bars? Because chocolate bars, right. obviously, <laughs> things are non-healthy. However, boost it with a load of protein. Can well, I eat I've that got, now? I've got an issue with this because people then start to think, oh, great, I can start eating lots of chocolate because it's got lots of protein in because they're starting to think that mm. that's a good thing. However, this has got 20 grams of protein. Bearing that in mind, that's nearly half your recommended mm. daily allowance. But it's also got so much sugar in there. 13 that you grams might of as sugar, well, 200 calories. You might as well just have the jam donut. It's the that same right? as a jam donut. It is, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's all a massive con when it comes to something like that. You'll be. I'm glad conned you said that because. By, I, but yeah. well, you're probably. I'm just it's probably true. a controversial it's, thing to no, say. It's, it's but true. However, that... I just look at that and think, right, okay, so, so if you want protein, then get it in your diet. I mean, you shouldn't be looking at chocolate for protein or exactly. conned into thinking it's doing you good. Exactly right. If you want to have chocolate, have chocolate. Get the best value chocolate, the best tasting chocolate, because that's another aspect, is that a lot of these products don't taste that great. So, you know, not only are they going to cost you a lot more, they uh, don't taste that great, and it's a con. Mm -hmm. OK, all right, what about smoothies? Mm, OK, so smoothies are incredibly high in sugar, if we're looking at that. Mm. We only need, we need to ensure that we're having um, just the right amount of portion for our smoothies. Because, mm -hmm. again, going back to that um, adage of um, too much of a good thing, um, right. it, it, and people are drinking lots and lots of it. Now, the sugar content is really significant. So what I would say is if you're wanting a sweet head and protein is uh, a factor, have a glass of milk, maybe have some almonds in there. You get some six grams of almonds in there and a piece of dark chocolate. And that's the way to do it. That's the way to do it, and you're not getting that sugar content um, okay. in there, yeah. What are well, these? Yeah, what are these? These are these energy balls. Well, these are actually really Moorish and really delicious. However, <laughs> if you're wanting a snack because you're hungry and you're wanting to increase the protein intake, one, it's a tiny amount. The volume mm. isn't going to probably cut it for you. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, from a calorie point of view, taste that. Mm. How much? Well, it how depends much on these? the recipe. So these ones... How much are £1.99 the... each, these ones. Well, they vary because there are some of them also that are a lot more expensive than this as well on the right. market. But the point is, energy-wise, uh, you could have two breasts of chicken and this rice 
Is that true? And without the, the it's absolutely true. So and so without the sugar content. These, there's 11 grams of protein, yeah. 10 grams of sugar, that's 190 calories. That's right. In a chicken and rice meal, there's 25 grams of protein, 190 calories, so it's exactly the same. It's exactly the same. And now, one gram of sugar. And one gram wow. of sugar. Now, that's these mad, could, isn't it? These could be very useful. If you're a mountaineer, you're hiking, you're doing a marathon, yeah, great. Put those in the pocket, jobs done. But for your, but for your average person, it's kind of it. not fair. It's not fair. That's what it's I not think fair. You just it's... go, oh, well, you think you're having a healthy snack. <laughs> it's it's and not you're fair not... as well because also the thing is, um, if you, I mean, did that taste nice? That one. Mm, it actually is quite minty. Yeah. I mean, it's. Minty? Oh, yeah, it's got a expect... minty, it's got a minty mint taste. Chocolate. Yeah, mint mm. chocolate. But it's actually quite hard to get rid of. Is it? It's still it's there, a bit claggy. sugar laden smoothie, why don't you? But <laughs> right, what have we got next? Cheese. Protein cheese. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so Holly, sorry, but. <laughs> Right. This is just ridiculous. But this is ridiculous because cheese has got protein in it. I mean, you might as well um, have my my beautiful breadless bread loaf here. Right. See? It's like the Emperor's <laughs> new clothes. Cheese has got protein in it, OK? Basically, this is a marketeer con. So you could have the mozzarella cheese here, mm -hmm. significantly less in price. Um, this is basically a low-fat cheese. So that's okay? 50p, 11.3 right. grams of protein. Yeah. Uh, and 48 calories. Yeah. And then, uh, what, do we, what do we get in protein cheese, then? Well, you do get more, more protein, it's but more it's more expensive. Significantly more expensive. Four times as expensive. Significantly more expensive. Um, and it also... Well, try it. You try it. And it's 50, 52 calories. It's actually more calorific, if that's what you're counting. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes like plastic. Thank you. Um, point, what the point, hell is that? Exactly, it tastes like rubber bands. But the point, the point I'm that's making not is... Worth it. I'd, I'd rather have a block of cheese, have a less... Yeah, and, and have the real have deal. Have the real have deal. deal. Exactly. And what about ice cream? cream? That looks good, though. It looks great. It probably also does trick. But I have an issue with this because um, the marketeers as well are basically almost encouraging you to get to the bottom of the um, uh, tub, which is like 500 mils in your average tub. So what we're we saying here, I, I would rather say to people, have the ice cream that you want to have. You shouldn't really be looking at your ice cream to get your protein intake. If you want to have ice cream, that's great. Have a couple of scoops of it, but don't be getting to the bottom of a tub. Why because... are they saying get to the bottom? Well, it, it, it's a marketer. It's like you can have all of this for this many calories and this much oh, protein. See. And so I think... I mean, that... it is a lot lower calories. Normal it ice is. cream is 250 it's calories it... per serving. It's... This is 60. So it... actually, that does seem a lot less. It does, but psychologically, what tends to happen is you're like, great, I'm going to do the tub in. And it's very easy right. to do that. It's very Moorish. Mm. Yeah, and that doesn't set good things. So the bottom really. line, really, is get protein from your diet from good food. You don't, unless you're a mountaineer, you don't need. Uh, you don't extra need stuff. any of these extra stuff. No. Mm -hmm. All good. Right. Yeah, thank, you. thank you. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.